Welcome back guys. We got another video for you today. It's going to be a little bit different. I'm here with Cebu who is a world traveler and has been traveling around the world for the last 15 years. Cebu, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, so uh, my name is Cebu. I like to think of myself as a global citizen. I started traveling from a really young age, but and I knew I was always meant to travel, but I came to a point where I could no longer travel because of, you know, money issues. And so I had to figure out a way to be resourceful somehow, and I managed. And so I've been traveling and living around the world, picking up different languages for the past um, 15 plus years, and it's been absolutely amazing. Yeah, so that brings us to the topic of today's video. So today we are going to talk about house sitting, which is one of the ways that Steve has been able to travel and live around the world like a local for the last more than a year. And so, Sibu, why don't you talk about what is house-sitting? So, house-sitting pretty much means that there will be people who go away on, holiday and, on holidays and they need someone to look after their houses while they're gone. Sometimes there are pets involved, sometimes they're not. Maybe you have to pick up the mail, you have to mow their lawn. Or they just need someone to stay in their homes while you're away, while they're away. Why? Because sometimes it's even cheaper to have someone live in your house than it is to actually get a security company to look after your place. There are plenty of reasons, but most of them involve pets. Yeah, so how long have you actually been doing house sitting for now? So I've known about house sitting for years, actually. I've been recommending it for uh, to my friends for a really long time, but it wasn't until the pandemic hit that I really started thinking about what I wanted to do and how I wanted to travel to continue traveling and I figured that house sitting was going to be a pretty safe way to do so. Um, safer than Airbnb, safer than hotels, I'm not really in touch with anybody, there aren't any people coming in and out of a property all the time and it's better than an Airbnb because I get the place all to myself and it's not set up for tourism. And I started using house sitting officially in June of last year. Um, so I was locked up in Germany, you know, COVID first lockdown. And as soon as the first lockdown was over, I was like, I'm not staying here anymore. So I just started looking for house sits and well, it's been over a year and here I am. That's pretty awesome. And so you have uh, one, there's a bunch of different house sitting platforms, but you have one that's your favorite. That's right. Um, there are different platforms, but believe me, I've done my research and I believe that this is by far the best one. It gives you the possibility to pretty much house it everywhere in the world. It's insane. And before COVID, I know because I've been following this page, this platform for a really long time. Before COVID, there were thousands and thousands and thousands of listings all over the world. It was beautiful. Listings have gone down because of COVID and yet I'm still I'm still living rent free after a year. So there's a possibility there are there is demand for this. And the platform that I use is called Trusted House Sitters. Yeah, so explain to me basically how the process of going from using their platform, like what do you, what do I have to do to get started and how does their platform kind of look and how do I get to get started with house sitting? That's a really good question. Um, so with Trusted House Sitters, obviously there's a membership that you have to pay. Prices range from $100 to $300 per year, depending on which membership you want to use. I would personally recommend the highest, the most expensive membership because it gives you um, full insurance and it also covers you in case the homeowners happen to cancel because of unforeseen events, which can obviously happen during COVID. So what happens is you open a profile and a lot of these house sits involve pets and that's really important so if you don't like pets this is not the place to be so you want to just upload as many pictures as possible show what kind of personality you have fill out the profile as much as possible and make sure that you don't come across as someone who's just looking for free accommodation yes that's one of the perks but most importantly you want to show that you're actually willing to go into someone's house respect their private space because they're letting you into their private space and most importantly, take good care of their pets and their belongings. You know, you're being welcomed into a stranger's home and you want to be as respectful as possible. Once you've done all of that, just start applying. And when you apply, it's just like applying for jobs. It's just like writing cover letters. You have to be specific about who you are, what you're doing and why you want to house it for them. Include names. It, it's pretty much the same as applying for a job. So you go into the profile, you look up to see what the pet's names are. Okay, so we have Blue and Cal here. So I use their names. I would love to take care of Blue and Cal for you. Those are the little things that give it a bit more, like makes you a bit more human. And so chances are you'll be able to stand out. 
at the beginning, it's really hard to get house sits. I'm not gonna lie, because you have to build up your profile and you have to get as many reviews as possible. But honestly, once you get two, three reviews, you're good to go. Yeah, so basically one of the biggest things with house sitting too is just making sure that you're taking care of the house and you're being respectful to the house and taking good care of, of the pets because the interview, the reviews are so important and like you want to be basically be leaving the house better than it looked when you got here to really get those amazing reviews because once they really build up, you get really amazing opportunities and Cebu has started telling me about some of those opportunities. There. So the thing with house sitting is that obviously my personal profile, I only have five star reviews and I will not do a house sit unless I'm 100% sure that I can only get a five star review because that's all I want. I've gotten to a point where I have so many five star reviews that I'm guessing my profile just pops up at the top of listings and I have people reach out to me asking me if I can house it for them. Um, and that's really cool. So I've done, I think, a few of those and normally for those, they will actually go out of their way to try to get you to house it for them and they'll give you like little perks and whatnot. How would I start? Since it's so hard to get house sits at first, I would go for really, really short term house sits, one or two days. Um, and ideally in your area, if you can drive out to someone and meet up with them and show them what kind of person you are so they can see you face to face, go ahead and do that the first two, three times. Once you've got that down, you can start doing house sits abroad anywhere. You will never need to meet up with people in person and you can just do interviews on Zoom. It's super easy and I've been, like I said, I've been doing it for over a year now. That's pretty incredible and I mean, I've done my first house sit with Cebu a few weeks ago out in New Mexico and I mean, it was just incredible being able to basically they post their dates that they're going to be going away for and you apply and then you're there for those dates basically taking care of their pets and so we were staying in a beautiful house out in Santa Fe and it's just incredible to be able to take care of pets in such a beautiful place like that and now we are in South Carolina at another house sit house sitting two cats and a dog and it's super easy going and it's just really nice to be able to exchange taking care of these pets for living in beautiful houses for free around the world and I mean the amount of house sits that there's out there we were just looking this morning I mean Dubai, Singapore, England, Spain, America, the US, just anywhere around the world there's always house sits and so once you start building up those reviews I mean you can travel around the world for free and I mean there's so many different people that can use this platform too, whether you're retired or whether you're running an e-commerce business, like a lot of my followers are, I mean, it is perfect for you to get to experience different parts of the country or other countries and still run your business or just being able to experience these different houses and taking care of these pets. Um, so now that you've been doing house sitting for about a year, what are some of like the coolest house sits that you've done in different parts of the country? Oh. Oh, that's a really good question. Um, let's see. The first one I did, I was out by a lake in southern Germany for like three weeks. That was absolutely amazing. So I was at the list and I was writing my thesis back then. So I was like doing my own little writing retreat. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, what else? Uh, being in this cool hip district in Vienna, um, just doing work every day and then going out and roaming around the city. What else? The last one we did in Santa Fe, the house was absolutely stunning. It was great. Then I did one in Yosemite back in Easter where there was a hot tub and I was just chilling by the hot tub every day and then going hiking every few days um, whenever I could. I don't know, like the list is endless and um, I've loved most of my experiences. It's really good. I think the, I think if you're looking for a house sit, um, so whenever you're applying for one, you can see what the responsibilities are. I'm not a vet. I'm not an expert and I'm not expecting you to be either, but I think it all depends on how much experience you have. So for example, a lot of, maybe there's some of them where the, the pets require some kind of like, I don't know, pills, medication, or maybe even shots. Um, if you're comfortable doing those kind of things, you can go ahead and do that. Um, there are other house sits. I've never done any like that. I've only done um, cats and dogs, but there's somewhere you can take care of horses and pigs and Roosters, if you want to just go out somewhere remote and work in a farm for two months or two weeks, you can do that. Like there, 
or just a parrot or a lizard. There are a million possibilities. It all depends on how comfortable you are taking care of certain pets. So far, I've only done cats and dogs because that's just my thing, but it really depends on you. Yeah, so as you can see, this platform of trusted house sitters is just absolutely amazing to be able to get these free experiences all around the world and being able to take care of pets. And it's not very hard to get started and you're gonna have some amazing experiences around the world. And so after this YouTube video, here's some like actionable steps that you can basically take to get you on the path to start doing trusted house sitters. And as CB was talking about, first you wanna get started with your membership. And once you get that membership, we will also have a link in the bio for that membership because that'll get you 25% off your yearly membership. And after that, basically just as Cebu said, you wanna be going around your area and seeing if you can get short house sits to start building up reviews. And once you get those reviews built up, the opportunities open up to start getting a lot more cooler house sits or just ones that are longer or harder to get. And basically once you do that, I mean, the opportunities are endless and you're gonna have an amazing time doing house sitting. And this is my second house sit and I'm loving the platform so far and I'm so excited to do more in the future. So I hope this video helped explain to you kind of what Trusted House Sitters is and what kind of free opportunities there are to be able to travel the world. And this is one of the best ones. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, um, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, my Instagram is at Ben Books the World and Cebu's Instagram is at Global at Heart. Um, I'll put both of those on the screen right here. And thank you for tuning in.